Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics for Monday, the first day of August 2022. Looking out across the Atlantic Basin as we begin the month, everything nice and quiet for the most part, nothing expected over the next two days. And that is also the case for the next five days, the Atlantic Basin, all the way across from Africa to the Gulf, and pretty much every point in between. No worries, nothing going on out there for now, but it is August, and we know that things can change, especially towards the end of the month. That is climatologically and statistically when we would expect activity to ramp up, and probably even more so because this year is forecast to be very, very busy. All of the ingredients are generally still in place as far as I can tell. It's just been a quiet period, and I think that'll eventually come to an end. In the Eastern Pacific, though, this has been unusual, certainly. A lot of activity there. We have Frank, we have Georgette. Georgette is weakening, and so is Frank. And then another area there in yellow, trying to get going the parade of systems in the Pacific. But here's what's interesting. None of these have become powerful, unbelievably remarkable hurricanes. Not really expected that it was going to be this busy, but again, it is kind of interesting that nothing has been particularly strong out that way. Just thought I'd point that out. All right, so climatology. This is the, the chart that we see. It's been updated recently through the year 2020, and the yellow is your hurricane activity. The red is all systems, or at least hurricanes and tropical storms anyway. And we're right here, August 1st. We have a ways to go. It's like a roller coaster ride. You get on at the beginning in June, and then it starts to really ramp up going up that hill where you start to really worry about things when it crests the hill and it's going to go down, so to speak. Well, in this case, the activity peaks there in September, and that's where we do have to worry a little bit. We have to be ready and put that worry to good use and make sure we are prepared for the peak season, which is not too far ahead of us. It's coming. All right, at least nothing for now. In the Eastern Pacific, there's all that activity. Again, the Gulf, the Caribbean, the Southwest Atlantic, nice and quiet, sliding over to the Eastern Atlantic, the same general story out that way. The intertropical convergence zone is getting a little bit more active, a little bit more thunderstorm activity, and it has lifted a little bit more to, to the north, riding now right along 10 degrees north latitude. It's not as suppressed. And again, these are those gradual changes that we are seeing as we get into August here, I think things will continue to move along, and within the next couple of weeks, maybe less, we should start to see a, uh, an uptick in activity, especially some of the longer-range guidance, the models, I think will start picking up on things as well. Looking at the models, speaking of them, this is the 6C GFS. Nice and clear for now, these tropical waves continue to come off of Africa, but they are accompanied by dry, dusty, warm air, the Saharan air layer, as we call it and therefore they are not developing, and I don't see that changing over the next several days, so we shall see. Look, it's Monday, and that means it's hurricane outlook and discussion time later today. That will be a much more in-depth, probably a half hour. So tune back in later today as I post that on YouTube and our Facebook. CJ will take care of that for us. The hurricane outlook and discussion this afternoon. All right, all right. Uh, until then, have a great rest of your Monday. As always, thanks for tuning in to What's Up in the Tropics. I am Mark Sutter. I'll be back with more for you later today.